I'm wondering something. I'd like to know your thoughts about some of our traveling companions. Do you mind if I ask? I've got this nefarious plan to go around to each of them and secretly tell them all the nasty things you said. That way they'll mutiny and I shall become the group leader. <laughs> Hey, that's a pretty good policy. <laughs> Where exactly is lunch, anyway? Seriously, though, I'm only curious. I've had enough time to form my own opinions, and I just want to see if yours are any different. Zevran, the elf. You can't trust him, can you? Do you believe his so-called vow? Really? Why? That's a lot of trust to put in someone who tried to kill you. Hmm. Well, if you are, then maybe I should too. But that doesn't mean I won't keep an eye on him. He's just too shifty. What about Sten? The way he looks at me with those eyes. Creepy. And he's so quiet for someone so big. Yet he doesn't seem quite so bad as the Chantry tells us. According to them, his philosophy is vile and evil. Yet he seems so reasonable. And yet, he killed all those people. He doesn't even deny it. Doesn't that bother you? Hmm. I'm not so sure that his regret means the same as it would for us. The Kunari sense of honor is... is a bit hard to grasp. For me, anyway. What about Liliana? Is she crazy? Or do you really believe in her vision? That's one way to put it. I don't know what to make of her. If you look at her when she doesn't see you, she just looks so... So sad. I almost feel guilty taking her away from her life. Yes, I know. Still, I feel badly for her. Morrigan, do you trust her? Think about it. Maybe Flemeth sent her with us for some other reason than she said. Well, aside from the fact that she's a complete and utter bitch, no, I don't like her at all. Why, do you? That's the most sensible thing I've heard out of you yet. Just remember that she's dangerous too, and evil, and mean. Enough. I think my curiosity is sated. Let's get back to it, shall we?